Okay, in this video we're going to discuss the Pythagorean Theorem and then talk about how that relates to the distance formula and show you how to use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. So let's take a look back at our uh, Cartesian plane here. If I have two points on the graph, uh, let's say um, we'll go with this point here, uh, which would be the point 3, 4. And this point here, which is the point 1, 1. Okay, we know that the, you may remember from geometry that the Pythagorean theorem states uh, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Again, that relates to the sides of a right triangle. So if I take my points that I've plotted here and I drop a vertical line, and then I draw on a horizontal line to create a point of intersection, and then I connect the two points, one, one, and three, four. Notice now I've created a right triangle. We call this side A, this side B, and this side C. So I could utilize the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance uh, between these two points. I know that A uh, is two, so I could do 2 squared. I know that B is 3, so 3 squared. And then I don't know what C is. So I could do 2 squared, which is 4, plus 3 squared, which is 9. I get 13 is equal to C squared. And then I would then know that the distance from point 1, 1 to point 3, 4 would be the square root of 13. Again, that's utilizing the Pythagorean Theorem. Now the Pythagorean Theorem helps us to derive uh, the distance formula. The distance formula states this. It is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And again, all I'm doing is plugging in the points uh, that, I'm, that I have here. So if I were to plug this in, I could do 3 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 1 squared. Notice here, 3 minus 1 squared would be 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4 minus 3 squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9. And again, utilizing the distance formula, I get the square root of 13. Okay, again, um, using the Pythagorean theorem, using the distance formula, this is the formula that we would be using for the distance formula. 